Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day 34. So today we're going to wrap up our training on the Campaigns applet, and specifically the Paid Ads Experience, by showing you a couple of different Google-based ad types that we have available for you inside of the new Paid Ad Experience, and then close out with some great resources to continue to learn more about how to run ads inside of KW Command. So let's dive into our campaigns applets, our megaphone icon here. You guys know that by now. And we are going to create a new campaign as we have done several times now. Let's go into the paid ads and we're gonna open up the new UI. We'll see our tiles for all of our different ad types. I wanted to draw your attention to the bottom row here. So you actually have five ad types that incorporate Google or Google search Google ads. So two different types, right? So you've got the first two here, attract sellers, attract buyers. And these, right, you can see are very specific. These are driven by Google AdWords. So one thing to note, and Paul Polanski, what an amazing individual at KWRI who writes these incredible help articles regarding all of things command. You can access those articles at answers with an S, kw.com so if you go into answers.kw.com and you just search for paid ads in command in the search bar you're going to get an entire series of articles on all of the different ads all the different things that we've just covered the last several days the first one to note is the create a google search traffic ad that's what these two ad types are the two that we just saw oops i apologize i didn't think it was going to take us all the way back out here we go. So these two ad types, these are your Google search ad. You'll oftentimes hear them as Google keywords, Google AdWords. These two, you can see that Paul has written an entire article around Google AdWords. It's also important to note that when you're choosing your keywords, there's already a set of keywords that have been included and you'll see those keywords. So if you come down, um, it's going to give us a separate article where we can go in. Here it is. Keywords already built into these ads. So if you're not familiar with Google AdWords at all, you can run it without adding any additional keywords. And yet, you know, it may not be as powerful, but you've already got 40 that are going to get you started. And those are already baked into the ad for you. So that is the Google AdWords. It's also really important to note on these that the minimum investment in these types of ads is $250 per month. And it is recommended that you run these ad types for a period of time more than just one month. So they take time to spool up and kind of get up and running. Uh, so oftentimes you may not see the results that you're expecting in the first month. It may take two or three months. So definitely something you're going to want to commit to over time if it's something that you choose to do. In addition, it's also important to note sort of how payments run. Payments get charged seven days prior to your start date every month. So sometimes people have said, wait, you charged me earlier or whatever. Just know that's sort of how Google AdWords work. And then the last thing to know about Google AdWord ads is there is no lead capture. The landing page that you send them to needs to have lead capture built into it in order for you to see any leads. And remember, those leads will not automatically come into command. You either need to manually enter them or have some sort of API connection that would bring them into command. The next three ad types that we're gonna talk about are listed here. These are multi-channel traffic ads that use, instead of Google AdWords, they actually use Google Ad placement through the Google Display Network. So you can learn more about the Google Display Network. Essentially, whenever you do a Google search, you're gonna see two different things. You're gonna see the sponsored ones, right? So if we do a Google search, let's just do one just for kicks and grins. Let's say uh, Homes for Sale and Katie, right? So each one of these that you see sponsored, these four right here on the top, those would show up as your Google search ads. So your landing page and the description that you build in those first two that we talked about, those would show up here, right? Now the actual Google display, excuse me, 
Google Display Network, those ads, those are the ones you see on the right hand side. So this is one of those examples. So two different types of ads and where they're going to show up, two different types of ad types. Again, Paul has an amazing article on multi-channel traffic ads listed here. You can see, <laughs> excuse me, and you can read through that article and learn more about how the setup for your Google Display Networks. Now I'm going to be very transparent and tell you I've not run ads on either one of these types. These last three do not require the $250, right? You could do a, an ad for as little as $20 to $30 on these last three, but very important to know that these two, right, the attract sellers, attract buyers, those do require the $250 minimum investment. Once again, answers.kw.com. So you can see here, answers.kw.com is, well, I guess you can't really see it. There we go. Now you can see the URL. So answers.kw.com. And in this case, I just searched for paid ads in command and got this entire list of articles down here. This is the Google search traffic ad that we just talked about, the minimum $250 investment. And then we're also talking about the multi-channel traffic ads that include the Google Display Network. We've got an article on both of those. Last thing is just to note, um, I don't have it set up in my demo account, so I can't actually demo it for you. But if you do have a team account, there is a 13th ad type that is called your dynamic ads. And you can run those if you have a team, but it's also important to know that there is a $250 minimum investment for those types of ads on a monthly recurring subscription. Essentially, those are gonna pull a variety of different properties that are listed by your brokerage, so your actual office, and serve those up to consumers and attempt to capture their information on Facebook or Instagram. So, only available for teams, minimum $250 investment. That's the dynamic ad type. I apologize, I can't demo that to you because I don't have my demo account set up as a team, but that would be your 13th ad type if you have a team it would basically show up as an additional card down here at the bottom. That's it for today, guys, and sort of puts a bow on our campaigns applet. Uh, tomorrow we are going to dive into reports. We'll continue on to designs. We'll get into consumer. We might even have a few videos specifically for teams and some of the nuances there. So stay tuned, continue to enjoy the challenge, and as always, I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.